How are you today? Always remember to wash your hands, stay at home, and stay safe. I'm Miss Joanna Marie M. Raposon, your teacher in arts for today. Today, we will learn about South, Central, and West Asian arts by identifying the characteristic of arts and crafts in specific countries. Before we proceed, let us first identify the different countries in South Asia, West Asia, and Central Asia. I'm going to show you the pictures of the different countries. And your task is, you're going to identify whether they are located in South Asia, West Asia, or Central Asia. Here's the first picture. You got it right! These countries are located in Central Asia. What about these countries? Brilliant answer! They are located in West Asia. How about this picture? Good job! These countries are located in South Asia. Tap your shoulders for the job well done! Now, let us explore more about the works of art of India, Central Asia, and West Asia. First, let's go ahead and take a look at South Asia. Are you ready? South Asia is the southern region of Asia which is defined with both geographical and ethnocultural terms. The region is consists of Afghanistan, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, the Maldives, Nepal, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka. India is one of the countries in South Asia. Here are some of the arts and crafts of India. First, we have Rangoli. Rangoli is one of the most beautiful and most pleasing art forms of India. It comes from the word Rang, which means color, and Avali, meaning colored creepers or row of colors. In this art form, patterns are created on the wall or on the floor of the house using finely ground white powder along with different colors. Next, we have the Diwali. Diwali is celebrated by Hindus in India and all around the world in October or November. It is the Hindu New Year and is either a 3-day or a 5-day holiday depending on where you come from. Let's go now to Pakistan. Pakistan is the world's fifth most populous country in South Asia and it has the world's second largest Muslim population. Let's get to know more about the arts and crafts of Pakistan. Are you ready? Pakistan have their most popular truck art. Truck art has origins dating back to the 1920s when Bedford trucks imported from England invaded the country's streets. They were fitted with large wooden prows on top of the truck bed, known as a touch or crown. The ornate prow was also accompanied by decorative bumpers and wood paneling along the cabin. Now, let's have a tour to some part of West Asia. Western Asia or simply West Asia is the westernmost sub-region of Asia. It is rich in cultural heritage and this is clearly evident in the variety and quality of regional arts and crafts. Saudi Arabia, officially the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, 
is a country in Western Asia constituting the vast majority of the Arabian Peninsula. We have the carpet design for the arts and crafts of Saudi Arabia. Arabian rugs have a special place in the world of home furnishing. The term Arabian carpet is not limited to carpets produced in the nation of Saudi Arabia, but it also refers to carpets produced in the Arab world. Tibet is a region in East Asia covering much of the Tibetan Plateau spanning about 2.5 million kilometer. It is the traditional homeland of the Tibetan people as well as some of other ethnic groups such as Monpa, Tamang, Kiang, Sherpa, and Loba peoples. And is now also inhabited by considerable numbers of Han Chinese and Hui people. Next we have Mandala. It is one of the most well-known arts and crafts of Tibet. Mandala is a sacred art of sun painting from Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Mandalas are made from colored powders. The term mandala means circle in Sanskrit. Now, you have learned about the different arts and crafts of South, West, and Central Asia. How can you relate the culture of other countries to our own culture? Good job! We all know that we have different cultures. On the bright side, culture makes people understand each other better. We also adopt some of the cultures and traditions of the other countries. It is important that we learn to appreciate and respect other cultures and traditions. If you have queries and clarification about today's lesson, feel free to send them to your arts teacher through the Messenger Classroom. Once again, I'm Joanna Marie Emma Pusson, your arts teacher. I hope you enjoy and learn a lot from this session. Good day everyone, stay safe, see you next time! Ta -da -da.